I don't know, is it me or does this sound like this might be like an inside job? Somebody who's working at the store trying to scheme and hustle people. <laughs> What up everybody, this is your boy Tech G back with another video. And in this video, we're gonna be talking about gift cards. It is the holiday season. Gift cards, in my personal opinion, are probably the world's greatest gift. You just give them a card and let these people go pick out their own gifts so you don't have to go out there and waste time trying to search for the perfect gift. Give them a card, let them buy their own gift. That is the American way, baby. But anyways, here we are, ladies and gentlemen. You can't even go get gift cards without somebody trying to pull one over on you. So for those of you out there doing some shopping and you're thinking about collecting those gift cards at the cash register, we're going to check out a couple TikTok videos here that you might want to use to uh, stay on the up and up and keep your head on the swivel because apparently the scammers are out there scamming the gift cards. This is personally why I love Amazon gift cards that you can buy online at Amazon. You don't have to go to the store, deal with all the people breathing the germs on you picking up card now just go on amazon buy a dog on gift card and keep it pushing with your life your loved ones will thank you later on but anyways for those y'all who choose to go outside and uh you know look for gift cards well you need to be on the lookout for some of these things taking place so let's go ahead and check this stuff out shall we i almost got scammed again guys i want you to pay particular attention especially while holiday shopping to be very careful with gift cards all right so what happened was I came up and I was actually buying a gift card, $100 gift card for PlayStation. So I picked up the first one and I just felt the back. And if you can see, there's a fake barcode on that. So what happens is the scammers take these empty cards home and they put their own barcode on top here. And you can almost feel it or you can feel it. I don't know if you can see it, but it's an actual fake one on there. Here's a real one and there's no raised barcode on there. So I'm going to now take the fake one to the cash to show you what comes up when it gets scammed. Let's go. Now, if you see, that comes up as the LCBO, which does not match the PlayStation card here. So to reiterate what happened, I grabbed a PlayStation card, but it actually had an LCBO barcode on it. So what the scammer has at home somewhere is that LCBO card. And that card would have got loaded with the hundred dollars had I paid for this card. I hope that makes sense. And what you need to do is make sure the barcode is okay. And of course you check that at the cash. Stay safe and happy shopping. It's kind of rather ingenious when you think about it. Somebody sitting at home printing up fake barcodes. They go to the store and somehow magically put these barcodes on the back of these gift cards without one camera seeing them do that and then you come along you pick up the gift card you go to pay for it and load up a hundred dollars onto it not realizing that you just loaded up one hundred dollars onto the scammer's actual gift card that's sitting at the house so he or she can go out there and uh, make it rain at home depots or wherever the heck they're shopping at that's actually rather ingenious there's a gift card scam going around so if you're planning on buying gift cards for the holidays you might want to listen up so I bought two gift cards for a client and she reached out and said one of them was not working and I was like, don't worry, I'll fix it. So I went and I got the old one and I went back to the shoppers where I originally bought it from. After I explained to the cashier uh, the situation, she turned the card around to to look at the last four digits of the barcode. Then she looked at the gift card activation receipt to see if those four digits matches the four digits on the receipt. And they didn't, and that's where the problem was. So then she turned the card around again and she looked closely and we can both see that someone had glued a new barcode on top of the original barcode, which is why the four digits don't match. So when she scanned it um, into the register, it came up as a Home Depot gift card, whereas the gift card that I purchased for my client was for Ikea. She was super great. She called her manager. Uh, they refunded me the money right away. I went and I bought a new gift card and I gave it to my client. But I just want to warn people out there that you need to be looking at the back of the gift card to make sure that no one has glued a different barcode on top of it. And I'm going to show you guys pics to understand what I mean. Okay, so this is what the activation receipt looks like. And you see right here, those four digits digits um 5153 every time you purchase a gift card uh you'll get this receipt and um those last four digits should match the last four digits on the back of the gift card so this is the back of the gift card you can see here the last four digits is 9858 so the receipt should have said 9858 now this is a picture of another gift card and i'm going to show you guys side by side this gift card with the other one so you can see the difference in what the barcode looks like okay so here are both uh gift cards side by side and you can easily tell the one on the top like it's a 
cut out like look at the edges you can cut see out. like the paper versus the gift card uh down here it's been printed on the gift card physically so um my best advice is that as soon as you purchase the gift card and the receipt um the cashier gives you the activation receipt make sure you match those four digits that come out to the four digits in the back of the card which is like 9858 or 9133 then you'll know that they're gonna activate and they'll be good happy holidays i don't know is it me or does this sound like this might be like an inside job somebody who's working at the store trying to scheme and hustle people i mean i'm just trying to imagine some random person walking into like a target or walmart and they go to the gift card section because you know normally a lot of these gift cards they're not too far away from the cash registers right so i'm trying to figure out how does one walk into a grocery store or a store in general where they got like a gazillion cameras all over the place <laughs> they take these gift cards and they start putting fake barcodes on the gift cards and nobody is there to catch them there's no video footage of this taking place like how is this even possible so that just leads me to believe maybe this is somebody who actually works at these stores who is trying to run this hustle that's what i'm thinking because they have access to the cards before they come onto the floor other than that i don't know how this is even possible in this day and age of everybody having a camera all these stores having cameras all over the place but regardless this is still rather ingenious that they would do this and i can only imagine how many people are getting conned and scammed out of this and you know that's obviously the sad part but this is why i'm in favor of you going directly to the manufacturer of the store's website and purchasing your gift cards i'm a huge fan of amazon gift cards i don't buy them at the store i go straight to amazon purchase the gift card and it emails it to the person that i want to receive the gift card i, th I think that's rather ingenious and plus i'm lazy because i don't feel like going outside dealing with all these people i didn't really know it was really going down like that with the gift card hustle but apparently it is you know you just got to be careful out there ladies and gentlemen you just never know but anyways that's my two cents on this story ladies and gentlemen hopefully you are more educated out in these streets and you don't get conned and hustled and you're out there accidentally loading up random gift cards for scammers and hustlers out there because they got you with a legit looking gift card with a fake barcode on the back be careful but uh in the meanwhile what you can do after this you can hit that like button that share button you can drop a comment also if you haven't joined the channel membership so you can learn a plus net plus security plus and all these other courses i plan on putting up go ahead and join the channel membership and uh shout out to all of my students that have signed up for the tech g training program remember we are starting class january 10th 2023 so i expect to see all y'all smiling faces in class so y'all can get certified get some jobs and go out there and live your wildest fantasies other than that i'll holler at you all on the next video y'all be safe peace